Okay, we're back again. Uh, I'm going to try to do these when I can, as much and as often as I can. But tonight we're doing a favorite and sweet potato fries, homemade sweet potato fries, and fried fish. So what we got here is, I already put some sweet potatoes going, um, just so you know you guys have an idea. Um, these take a long time when they're homemade, but you want your oil V350. I just use the Grandpappy Fry Daddy, and that works great for us because I can put a lot in there. I can put a whole big sweet potato in there. Um, everybody seems to be liking these lately, so that's what we're doing. And we're going to do beer batter. All right, so beer batter, we have a cup of flour in here, and we have about two teaspoons of baking powder. That's it. Um, now, seasoning-wise, I like to use a parsley with garlic salt mix, and I am very liberal with this. Now, the reason why I am is because you... It, it's gonna get fried, so it's going to ooze a little bit of that flavor to the oil. Now, one trick for making beer batter is cold beer, and don't worry about it, you're not gonna get lit up drinking this thing because all the alcohol gets cooked off. But you use um, beer because the yeast in the beer actually works like a leavening agent and it poofs your batter up. And that's why you get that crisp, yummy batter. All right, that's what we're doing here. So, you want to have a consistency that's about like a, that would make a little lighter pancake, I guess. If you're, you know, like, I don't know what consistency I use. Um, it should take just about a full can or bottle, depending on, you know, whatever you got going on. All right, so there's your consistency. As you can see, it's like a what would be a lighter pancake. You don't want it too thick because then it's gonna cook your batter and not your fish. Now, the beautiful thing about this batter though is you can use the same batter for just about anything um, that you wanna fry. So you can use it for uh, cheese curds. You can use it for chicken, you make your own chicken strips, um, and you know, pickles, if you want to do battered Oreos, I mean, you can get as crazy as you want to get. Now, these have gone for like six minutes, these sweet potato fries, and I think they're just about done, so I would say six, six and a half minutes. Now, what I've done here is I've pre-chunked up some walleye into bite-sized chunks. See that? You can use whatever fish you like. And I also like to leave the skin on them because I like the skin gets crunchy. But you don't need to have skin on them. I also have crappies, which are pretty good. Um, these were all fairly recently caught. Now, Make sure you get your oil off of them when they, those sweet potato fries have gotten like kind of a brown tint to them. They look dark, but they're not um, burnt. You want them to be a little dark because the sweet potatoes, it takes them longer to cook than regular potatoes. I salt them liberally. All right. Now, while you're waiting for those fries to kind of cool down, that's about what your batter should look like on your fish. It wants to fall off but enough of it wants to hang on there for frying, all right? And you wanna, when you put these in the oil, you wanna give them some space so they don't start hugging each other. And eventually, once they start hugging each other, they stick together, they look like, um, you know, hot middle school boys at a dance, all hanging on to each other, you don't want that. So. You uh, drop enough in so they're not touching each other, and then you'll let those go for about somewhere between three and five minutes. I mean, depending on the size of your chunks. If you do whole chunks of fish, um, like whole fillets, it's gonna take considerably longer. Now, obviously the only other thing that goes really well with fish is tartar sauce. Now I have a base here, but just to give people an idea of what I do is I get in there 
and get a whole, I get a whole big scoop of mail, real mail. Don't use that crazy not mayo stuff. Like Miracle Whip is fine for salads, but not tartar sauce. You want real mayo, and my mind. And I just make a big batch of it, and I keep it in the fridge for next time. So I put a bunch of mayo in there, and then dump a bunch of sweet pickle or dill relish, depending on what you really like. And again, go hefty with garlic salt. And got tartar sauce to go with it. I'm just gonna let my love, lovely assistant um, film for another minute so you can see what the fish looks like when she comes out. But again, it's somewhere between three and, and five minutes, you'll notice it starting to um, brown up a little bit. Okay. And they're almost done, actually. Um, the way you tell that fish is done is it starts popping around on top and floating. Um, and then you can touch it and you can actually feel it, it almost feels like hollow if you tap it with your with your scooper You can almost hear that So these are really close to done and it's more of a, of a feel thing And this is real real easy to do um, a lot of people are scared to fry but um it's it's an actual it's actually pretty easy to do, and if you just do it on your stove, I would say you know do like medium, a little bit over medium high, um, for your for your heat to get your oil in the right temp, and you should be set to go there. Now, if you were to do this with cheese curds, which I really like, you only have to fry them for like 60 seconds. So I'll do that another day, but I just a, just a hint in case you want to make beer batter and then you want to do yourself up um, uh, with some cheese curds later. But oh yeah, these are these are feeling pretty. If you take a look, yeah, that's hot, but they're pretty firm and that's very very light and crispy. So. That's what you're looking for. Firm and light and crispy. You put your tartar sauce on them and you're good to go. All right, show you what they look like. Now, if you don't use beer and you use water for your, your wet agent in your batter, which you can do. Um, some people are a little afraid of the beer taste, but they'll be a little more brown instead of goldy. All right, so just FYI. All right. There we go, we have video number two.